So I kicked this video off by spinning my client in a full 360 so you guys can see the canvas that I'm gonna be working on today. So I start off with my first initial guideline with my wall detailers. And then I do the same thing on the other side. Let's do an equivalent with the top of the ear. fully close and I just start to hit the uh, bottom of the guideline and I go to halfway which is the third notch on the masters and I just go right up under that and I start to fade under that as well and as you guys can see it's transitioning right in with itself and then I just go fully open right above that as well to get that to blend as well remember comb and fade at the same time and then I go in between just so I can clean up the bottom of the taper still kind of see some spots so I have to go in a lot of lever play and I'm just playing between my lever just so I can clean it up there we go and just getting it all the way in order it's always lever play so now I go on my 116th guard fully closed and I just go on the, the uh, guideline that I did with the masters fully open. And I just go halfway right here to go above that as well. Then I just go in and comb the hair down. And then I'm just doing some lever play at, under my fade just to get it to transition a little bit better. Then I go fully open right here. guys can see the ball taper is coming out like real easy I just drop them halfway and then to my second notch here and I'm just cleaning up just getting this fade to look as smooth as possible comb the hair down and that's halfway with a 1 8 guard and that's with the grain and I go halfway with the 1 8 guard just to clean up And I do the same thing on the other side. I start off fully closed. And I go down on my notch two. Then I go to my notch three. And then I'm fully open now. And I'm just keeping it real consistent. Remember, calm it down. And remember, level play in between if you got to uh, clean up any part of your fade. Just to get it to transition real uh, good so they can see it. That's one thing I love about the mask is like that, that lever is the best thing, man. I just feel like the ball in my court when I'm uh, rocking with that lever. So I'm fully closed right here and I'm going right underneath that. And now I'm halfway and now I'm fully open. And you just seen the fade just transition real easy. And now you just see me going with the 1 8 guard and that's halfway closed with the grain. And then I open it up to go against the grain just to get it to blend in. And then I close the clippers halfway and I just go with the grain just to knock the rest of the bulk down. And I'm just keeping it real consistent and uh, just combing it down and uh, cutting it with the grain just to get all of the hair as even as possible, prepping it technically for the lineup. So I'm finna go in to start the lineup now.
first part just so I can go ahead and go straight across. I mean, you just always got to hit the bar to create that 90 degree angle. You always want that right angle look. See, like, my client has a lot of extra hair over the front of the liner, but just watch me get it together. Sometimes it's hard to just go from one side to another side, but it's like after doing this so long, it just become, like, real natural and easy. But I think the reason that I can do linings like well is because it was the first thing that I learned how to do when I first started cutting. I just always thought the lining was the best part about a haircut before I even got into fades and all of that. I just like lineups. So it's like I always deal with weird linings and try to get them as straight as possible. So I just go in with Kiss Expressions mixed with alcohol. Just do my first foundation of the lineup because I'm going to do Kiss and I'm going to use fibers. But uh, that's the reason my video ain't come out. I had seen somebody else had did one. It kind of threw me off, man, because it's like I brought it to YouTube first. And it's like I was supposed to drop that video and get it out. And somebody else did it. And I just wasn't happy with that at all. So I just said forget it and scrapped the video. But uh, I was talking to this, uh, this girl that I know named Jessie. And she was just telling me, like, I should still drop it and uh, just show y'all how I do mine. So, uh, I'm going to still try to get that video together for y'all. Right here, you just see me laying the fibers down really uh, over the line up. Because I like how the fibers finish, like, dry. When you using Kiss Expressions, it got, like, a wet finish, kind of like a glossy look. And then you just want to eliminate that look. I don't like the glossy look. So I just go in with my detailers and I just go right at the lineup and just trace what I already did. And you just go instantly see the line and get sharper and sharper. Looking it out just so I can see what I gotta clean up. And I seen one side was a tad bit higher. Got him lifting his head so I can see the lineup. There it go. Some money shot. And I just get it together with just cleaning up around the face. I just go in with the Barber Magic Pencil. I got this from my boy God Bless My Hands TV. And um, I've been using these, man. And I ain't gonna lie, these actually been, uh, they've been making my cuts finish a little bit stronger, man. Even though I can achieve the white line without it, I mean, this is a decent alternative as well. So I definitely like these. You can just do it with the liners. You don't have to do it with a razor. And look how crispy it is on that side. Like that side shows you how fire this thing really is. It's just like that highlight, like what women do to their eyebrows. I'm just going here, level his head out, and just hit the other side as well. As you guys can see, the effect that the Barber Magic Pencil brings. It's just a real dope second alternative, man. If you can't achieve the white line already, it's just dope. Then yeah, I just got slight imperfections that I just like to go in and tackle myself. Remember, y'all, every detail matter. You see me step up close just so I can get up and get that one specific hair. Every detail counts. So I just go in with the easy blade, double premium razors, and 
and uh, stretch the skin and pull it right back to the lineup. And we're just getting them as crispy as possible. Stretch the skin and pull it right back to the lineup. And as you can just see, the view is just crazy. It's the taper, the lineup, the actual dress style. Uh, his girl actually did his hair. She did a nice job. So the lining is just perfect for this whole style. Let me know what you think, bro. Back in the game, boy! <laughs> yeah, you already know what it is. This is the best barber out of the 219. If you don't know who he is, get up with him. So I want to say shout out to my client. That's actually my shooter. That's the guy who actually shoot all my real videos. Uh, but it was just time for him to get his line in. So um, this is how we nail this perfect ball taper, man. I'm going to give a huge shout out to all of my subs. I hope y'all like it. Please smash that like button. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. And may God bless.